Hey, what am I gonna get a big girl? I got a bitch and I'm like, I got a bitch and I'm like, what is going on, guys? Today, we're gonna teach you how to make music on FL Studio. We're gonna cover some of the basic stuff on FL Studio to help you make your first beat, and it's gonna sound fire. First, you wanna get FL Studio. So make sure to go in the description and go cop FL Studio or download the trial version. If you're gonna buy it and you wanna be serious about this, I really recommend the producer version. And once you have FL Studio, this is what's gonna pop up. So here, it's like Google Chrome tabs, okay? So you're clicking things and it's opening different things. The first one is the playlist. This is like drawing the beat. It's where you're gonna lay out the patterns. You're gonna put things in. So if I put a random effect and I drag it onto the playlist and then I click play or spacebar, it's gonna play the audio. This one is the piano roll. This is where you're gonna use the piano to make melodies, 808s, and lay out patterns. So if I just left click, and I click pattern all the way here, so it only plays the pattern. Here you're gonna hear the notes I just We're back, we're back. This is the channel rack where you can add sounds, and this is the mixer. So the mixer is where you can adjust and mix and master and do a bunch of effects and cool stuff. Now here on the left, it's like folders. This is where you keep all the audios, the presets. Before we start making the beat, we're actually gonna go get some sounds. First, we're gonna get a drum kit, which is gonna contain a bunch of drum sounds that we can make the beat. So I really like Yeet, so we're gonna search Yeet drum kit, Reddit. There's a lot of them. But usually you just click them and then you just click open, on the link and you can download it and have the kit i'm also going to find like a melody like a loop so we're gonna go to looper man go to looper man click loops and samples go to by keyword and then search up the artist or an instrument that you like uh, uh, uh. i really like this one so we're gonna download it but before we download it we're actually gonna keep track of this, the BPM. And we're gonna make sure it's the right BPM, which by default is 140, so perfect. Basically, BPM stands for beats per minute, which is how fast your beat's playing. Like a 300 BPM, your beat's gonna be very, very fast. But if you have one at like 80, it's gonna be very slow. Now we're gonna add the drum kit. So we're gonna click Options, File Settings, and then here, we're gonna put out the path of a folder where you keep all the kits you wanna download in the future. So just go to your desktop, make a folder called Kits, and then just add all the kits there. Now you're gonna click here on Refresh, and wherever you saved, it should pop up. Wow, this kit looks crazy. Well, all right, so first, we're gonna start off with the hi-hats. So we're gonna click on Pattern 1, go on the Channel Rack. I'm actually gonna delete all this other stuff by right-clicking. I'm just using my arrow keys to go down this fast. I like this one, very simple. Now we're gonna right click this, go to piano roll. Now on the piano roll, I'm actually going to just add one hi-hat. And I'm gonna follow this line here. Fill in these right here. Now I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna hold control, press B. And I'm gonna do it until I hit the five mark, which it actually stands for four bars. Usually you wanna lay out something for at least four bars, which ends at five, but a lot of producers, when they're working with things, they usually do it for eight bars. Just so I had some more flow to it. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm going to go like this and then go here. You can even change how the lines are cut inside the bar. For example, a half step, so you can even go faster by doing like this. Now, we're gonna add a clap. I like this one. Usually claps are in the middle of the bar, so here, I'm actually gonna extend this, and I'm gonna hold control to highlight it, hold shift, boom. And we're gonna follow that same thing until it hits eight bars. I need to hear how this sounds with the beat. So I'm gonna click on pattern one, I'm gonna paint it over and then make sure you click song on the top here and then we play it. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody talk about bitch and I'm hanging with banana hoe. Now we need some 808s. Oh, I love it. Again, drag it here. You actually wanna left click it, open this thing. For every 808, you actually wanna make sure to remove this option, click on the wrench, click cut itself. Now, click on piano roll, 
we can actually turn up the velocity so it's louder a little bit too loud there you go hey. but i want to make sure it's in key you want to highlight it hold control press up arrow key until you go to c8 or c9 whatever and you want to make sure that note is hitting the same as the melody yeah Now I want to copy this over because I don't want to be too creative. And then select everything by Control A, Control Down key until it hits the fives. Let's structure the beat a little bit. We're gonna right click the pattern one, and click split by channel. We're gonna actually delete everything. Now we're gonna select all these things by holding control and clicking on them. Then you just drag them over. Now what I wanna do is I wanna build a little intro. So hold shift, bring this over to the left. See this little triangle here? It's actually gonna make the audio fade in. While it's fading in, I'm actually gonna play the hi-hats. Let's listen to this. Hey, chupan and I gotta get a big yo. I got a bitch and I'm ready. I got a bitch and I'm home. Bitch and I dumb and I get in a man and I had a that's it you got your first beat i hope you guys enjoyed watching this but if you guys have any questions please put them down below in the comments go make some fire beats bro join the discord show me the beats all right peace